All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is another for sale video. Um, it's the one in the middle <laughs> that's for sale. Uh, I brought these other two as reference points for this uh, particular watch because um, I like to talk about transitional watches and this one is really a transition between these two on the outside. Um, and it has some cool features that I think really make it a distinct, um, not necessarily rare, but unique uh, version of the Seiko GMT from this era. So, of course, the golden golden age of Seiko is somewhere between the early 60s and the, and the late 70s. Uh, they were making fantastic watches uh, all through that time period. Um, 6000 series were the dominant uh, mechanical watches in the, uh, that varied anywhere from uh, through four-handers like this, five-handers uh, like the um, uh, chronographs, uh, dive watches of course. There was also, so that's what um, Sua was making. Um, there were also the 7000 series in the in the Dyni line. Uh, but today this is about a really special little GMT watch um, that's that's um, has a unique place within the Seiko line. Uh, it is a transitional version of the watch, so this is an early, early um, incarnation of what is called the 6117 GMT, which shares a movement style with the later cushion cases, which are a bit, a bit more garish and perhaps a bit more unique in terms of their size and their case shape. They have a cushion case, of course. Um, the movements in these are very similar um, this is an early one, which is a, a B move or an A movement, and this is a B. This one hacks, and this one doesn't, um, and it shares that DNA, right? So that that case uh, style being different, but the interior of the watch is basically the same, except for the hacking. Um, on the other side, you have the first GMT, which is this um, World Time Automatic from the Olympics, which has the flame on the back. This was a 6200 series watch, so the 6002. Um, it had a rotating um, city ring, which is on the outside, of course. And this is an early one that has the all-American, um, you know, sort of American style, Denver, Chicago, New York, um, and so and Los Angeles. So all four, they changed to a Mexico City after, after this version. Uh, instead of the instead of the Chicago, this one has um, you know the outside style crown, larger crown. It has, um, of course, the city ring and all the things that go along with making this a, a world time GMT, um, and as does this. So linen dial, white dialed watch uh, with the city ring. This city ring though is special in its own way. So. This is called the error dial, and it's not that they made an error, it's just that uh, at the time when these watches were being made, for a three year window between 1968, which this watch is from, and uh, roughly 1971, um, the time zone with London, Paris, and Rome was all shared, and GMT was one hour before. And so now, um, on, on city dials, GMT is, is London. But there was an experiment that was being done to change that and um, that's where this watch comes in. And that error dial, or error ring, is one that's, um, that's pretty unique. So again, this is a 1968, 6117, 6010. It's a proof back, a blister back watch. Um, I have fully service this watch. It has a new Sternkreutz flat top crystal, which is a very nice addition. Um, all new seals. I have rebuilt this crown. This has a crown much like a 6105 diver that needs to be disassembled and have a new gasket put in, uh, and that has been done. So that, that saves you. Um, this watch is, is nice because it doesn't have um, any sealing surface damage, you can get um, water intrusion just from atmospheric moisture going from a humid to a non-humid environment. It can drive moisture into these watches if you're not careful, mostly because the crystal itself is just held in with a tension ring uh, against a hard case, so it doesn't have a gasket around the crystal. It's mostly just 
um, hard surface to hard surface sealing. So if there's any imperfections there, um, it will allow water in. Of course, no watch from this era should ever be considered waterproof or water resistant at this point. They are, they are all vintage. And so, you know, if you wanna get your watch wet, that's a decision that you have to take very, very, very strongly um, and, and, and think about those actions. <laughs> My warranty doesn't cover that. So, um, you know, water intrusion is, is never covered um, as a warranty item. You do get a warranty with this watch on the mechanical aspects of the movement. Uh, everything that I've done to it um, is warrantied for a year, as with all my watches. So if you're looking for a, a guaranteed original, 100%, uh, you know, reliable, great mechanical watch from the golden era, this has two new Arbor Port jewels, upper and lower. So it's good for good for eternity, as far as I can tell. Um, those will not wear, um, much like. Much like the uh, the higher higher end watches that came from Seiko that were auto are already jeweled, um, this has now been upgraded to that level. So this is a this is a great little watch. All right. If you're interested, follow the link in the description below and let me know. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.